Talking Labor Day travel, huh? Ooh. How about game day travel? That's right, LSU on the road in Las Vegas taking on USC. It is the season opener. It's going to be an exciting weekend there. Fans gearing up to take off from Baton Rouge and see the Tigers. Mm. Georgia Peck is live at the Baton Rouge Metro Airport with a lot of purple and gold behind her. <laughs> Georgia, how's it going over there? It's going good. Everybody's getting ready to head off to Las Vegas. Tiger fans gearing up. We're super excited over here. And I have Miss Holly over here. You are decked out in the sparkles. Tell me a little bit about your outfit. Okay, so my top is Queen of Sparkles. Uh, shout out Baton Rouge. And then my skirt is from Frock Candy. Shoes are from Frock Candy. We love the little fit check. Thank Show you. me your nails too. Did you get your nails done for this too? Yes, nails done at uh, NV in Watson. Love, they're beautiful. Beautiful, love the outfit. So talk to me, are you excited? What are you most excited for for this weekend? I'm so excited. I am hoping to see LSU pull off a win against USC. And uh, I haven't been to Vegas in about 10 years, so I'm really excited to go and see pool parties, uh, concert, everything, all the things. You absolutely got lots of stuff planned. How hard was it to get those tickets? So um, I really, we really lucked up on our tickets. Um, and we've been planning on it for months and months, so we got them early made plans early, uh, lucky to get this chartered flight out of Baton Rouge, didn't even have to drive to New Orleans, which is great. That is awesome, yeah, and let's look outside, it's looking a little rainy, how are we feeling about the travels, a little nervous? Uh, as long as it's sunny in Vegas, I don't care. <laughs> Absolutely, yes, that's what we like to hear, but yeah, safe travels, yes, thank, thank you so you. much, but yeah, that's not the only football going on this weekend, here's Matt B with more. That's exactly right, look at this, is this not beautiful right here, I mean, this could... This could really get you going. I'm excited. College football is back. LSU is playing. We just saw Georgia and the fans there. But no matter if it's your alma mater, the team you grew up for here in Louisiana, college football is taking place this weekend, and I've got the matchups for you right now. So now a couple of schools have already gotten week one action underway on Thursday, and we saw the Tulane Green Wave take down Southeastern 52 to nothing. Louisiana, Mon Louisiana Monroe took down Jackson State 30 to 14. And meanwhile, the rest of the weekend slate looks like this. Grambling State, the Tigers, they're going to see the Ragin' Cajuns at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Louisiana Tech hosting Nichols at the same time. And Southern going on the road to the Cowboys of McNeese State also at 7. Sunday rounds out the weekend with LSU and USC out in Vegas. But now, let's take a look at the Jaguars here. Okay, Southern University taking on those Cowboys, as we mentioned, tomorrow night. Newly named head coach Terrence Graves had to adjust being at the helm now. He's in charge of everything as a head coach. And right away, having a tough decision to make who will be the starting quarterback for the Jags in week one. His decision came out to be Noah Broaden as QB1. But that took a little bit more than just deciding what he does off the field because of what he does with that. Um, Noah has the attitude of being a leader. Noah, you know, he wants to be the best. So I think just naming him just confirmed that he was the guy going out. And uh, he's been the same Noah. He's been the same Noah since I've known him. So uh, he still leads. He wants to be, be uh, the best player he can be. He wants to make every throw. wants to make everything right. So uh, it's just Noah being Noah. Exactly right, Coach. Noah being Noah. The junior, he appeared in six games a year ago. Now he gets the keys to the car. He'll be leading the way behind center for those Jaguars. Look, my weekend plans are set. A lot of college football to watch. It's going to be exciting this weekend. Guys.